I promise you, you will get through. I'm only 20 years old, and I said that last, last year. I'm only 19, but now I'm 20. And I, and I, let, me, let me remind you of that. I'm in the house. None, none of the people in my household are saved. Let's just get that out the way. I'm doing this on my own because I don't want to I have another strength. You got to leaders. You got your family. You got your yeah. If you really want God, you will get God. All right. Woo! Somebody on the field, go pretty low. Somebody on the field, go pretty low. Hey, 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 Some people get on the mic 
and say, I'm man of God. And they look, they look worried when they go out the doors. I've seen it with my own eyes. They ask their preacher of the church and say, I'm a pastor. Young like me. Put on a suit. They dress like holy. They dress, but don't even act holy. They don't live holy. But I can say,
children. Amen. 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 We have to know that God has done so much for us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. We're going to help you up your PC adult choir. Amen. And they're going to give us a hate selection. Amen. Let's give them a hand as they come.
for the party, amen. Amen. Thank God for Mother Williams tonight, amen. 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 Thank God for the Lord. Amen. Thank God for Kim Pastor Lacey. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I need to see you early. And that's how they recognize you. Thank God for you being with us in the tonight. Amen. Anybody ready for the word? Oh, 
his way. Lift your hands to heaven and say, Lord, have your way. Lord, revive us again. what we want tonight. Revive us again. Do it again, Lord. I said do it again, Lord. Revive me again. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lord, revive us again. This is what we need. I believe in this hour. Revive us again. Yes, Lord. 85, we'll begin our reading. The fourth verse. Turn us, O oh God, of our salvation. Yes, and cause thine anger toward us to cease. Yes, Will thou be angry with us forever? Yes, Will thou draw out thine anger to all generations? Yes, Will thou not revive us again? Yes, Lord. Will thou not revive us again? Yes, yes, yes. Will thou not revive us again? Yes, that thy people may rejoice yes. in thee. Yes. Show us thy mercy, yes, Lord. O Lord, oh, Lord. Yes. and grant us thy salvation. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I will hear what God, the Lord, will speak. Uh -huh. For he will speak peace unto his people yes, and to his saints. Yes. But let them not turn again yes. to folly. Amen. Surely his salvation is nigh them that fear him. Yes. That glory may dwell in our land. My God, my God. Lord, revive us again. again. Yes. Saints, we're living in a time where the enemy is on a rampage. Yes, he is. Uh, I talked about this last Sunday. He's trying to put your light out. He's trying to kill us both spiritually and naturally. He's on a rampage. Hallelujah. In the word of God, God had a problem with the children of Israel. As he were transform, transferring them into the promised land, he told them not to get involved with the heathen. All right. Do not learn the way of the heathen. Yeah. You are a sought out people. You are a peculiar people. You are a holy people. Uh -huh. A people special. Amen. Brought them to himself. A sanctified people, separated people. Don't get entangled with the things of the world. Don't learn the way of the heathen. Right. Hallelujah. But in, in the journey, amen, the, the Israelites picked up the wrong ways, did the wrong things. Hallelujah. Turned away from God. But the thing that I like about God, he never turned away from his people. He would send the word to the prophet to warn the people of God. Come to God. Come back to me. I am the Lord thy God that delivered. I am the Lord thy God that brought you. I am the Lord God that brought you out of the land of Egypt. Come back to me. Hallelujah. And I love this about God because God, he stands ready for us even when we get off track. Hallelujah. Even when we Hey Amen. Don't do what's right all the time. God is still saying, come back to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come back to me. Tonight, we're asking God to revive us again. Yes. Yes, Lord. The word 
revival, amen, revive means to bring back alive. Yes, bring back alive. Yes, Hallelujah. Bring it back alive. You know, I, I thought about it. We can get complacent as a people of God. Can I take my time tonight? Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. Because we can get into a routine, amen, because we know church. Are y'all going to talk to me tonight? We know protocol. Are you with me tonight? We've been in church for a while. So we know how to say praise the Lord. We know how to shout. We know how to wear our clothes. Hallelujah. And we can get caught up. I want you to hear me tonight. We can get caught up. And I don't want y'all to get mad at me. We can get caught up in a religious spirit. Come on. Talk about it. Talk about it. Help me tonight, Holy Ghost. We can get caught up in a religious spirit. Mm. Hallelujah. We want to be connected to God. We have to have that relationship with God. Just because I'm coming to church, it doesn't mean that I'm saved. Talk about it. Talk about it. Just because I've learned a couple of scriptures. Just because I kind of know how to walk like I'm holy. I kind of know how to look my clothes a little bit like I'm Come talk to me tonight. I got I got a little holy swagger. Glory be to God. So, so he, he looked like he's saved. She, she looked okay. They look kind of saved. saved. And there you go with your chest out. Yeah, I'm saved. I know I'm saved. But we must be careful. Hallelujah. That we don't be overtaken by religious spirit. The religious, he talked about religious spirit. They, they don't know how to amen, tame them out. Oh my God. Don't know how to control themselves. Yes. What are you saying, preacher? You can say you're holy, but if you're not connected with God, you don't have the spirit of God, you cannot live holy. Yes. I say you cannot live holy. Yes. You got to have the power of God. You got to have the power of the Holy Ghost because the enemy is going to fight you. Yes. He's going to come against you no matter how you shout. You looking yes. good. Shout. And say, you wait till you hit them doors. You, you, I got something for you. Are y'all hit me, young people? You wait till you come to school. You wait till you come on this job. Right, wait till you go on that job. Wait till you go to I got something for you. The enemy is going to try you for your very faith. Somebody said, Lord, revive us. Glory be to God. What I got here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Isaiah 57 and 15, For thus said the high and lofty one that inhabit eternity, whose name is holy, I dwell in a high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and a humble spirit. To revive the spirit of the humble. To revive the spirit of the humble. Yes. There's a certain posture we got to take before God when we want God really to work on us. Amen. When we really want something from God. Amen. You know, the one thing that God hates is a proud spirit. Yes. Right. Arrogant person. An arrogant person. You can't tell them nothing. Right. They know everything. You know, some people can't even stand to be corrected. Right. Talk about it. Are y'all going to talk to me tonight? Talk about it. I'm talking about things to be saved people. Right. You know, there's a problem when you know everything. Thank you. Right. I'll talk somebody trying to tell you, I'll talk them. Uh -huh. well, sister, I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, but I know, Pastor. I, I know. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, brother, I just want to show you. Well, I, I know that already. Uh -huh. You might not know, but sometimes you just need to listen. Can I help you tonight? Sometimes you just need to listen. Humble yourself. You might learn something. That's a problem with you. No, yeah. Thing. And can't nobody tell you nothing. Something is wrong. Hallelujah. He said of a contrite and a humble spirit. To revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart 
of the contrite ones. The ones that are broken before God. You know God don't need us, we need him. Did you hear it or not? God do not need us. We need him. He said, I'll make the rocks cry. Glory be to God, but I don't want no rocks crying out for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Romans 14 and 9, you don't have to turn for to this end Christ both died and rose and revived that he might be Lord both of the dead and the living. There's a couple points I want to bring out tonight. Hallelujah. If we're looking for God to revive us, if we really want God to revive us, how many really want God to revive us? How many really want God to fill you all over again? Hallelujah. Oh, I want God to fill me up. Sometimes we just got to tell God, do it all over again. Hallelujah. Take me back to the place where I'm first. Do you remember the first time you got the Holy Ghost? First John, first chapter, the seven verse. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, 
we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleansed us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. That's the word. If we confess our sins, tell your neighbor, you got to confess. The Bible says he is faithful. He's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. This scripture here was a blessing to me when I first got saved. Come on, come on. Glory be to God, because you struggling, trying to clean your lifestyle up. I want to help you tonight. And this stuff just don't happen overnight because you just got the Holy Ghost. When you get the Holy Ghost, you got to learn how to live holy. Come on now. I said you got to learn how, because you used to do stuff and you didn't have that conscious telling you about what you're doing. The Holy Ghost will not know and tell you you're doing that wrong. You better not do that. You better not go there. You better not say that. You better not do You better not wear that. But when you get the Holy Ghost, that clean spirit of truth, it's going to tell you, don't do that. Uh-huh. Or if you do something, it'll whoop your chest high. Now, you know you didn't do that right. You know you didn't say that right. Go back and apologize. Hallelujah. But then you saying, no, you don't need to do that. You ain't got you grown. You ain't got to, you ain't got to do that. You do what you want. You, you grown. That's that struggle going on. Hallelujah. But the Bible says, listen, confess your sin. You got to be a real man and a real woman. If I did something, I'm not trying to hide it. If I, I'm trying to be saved. I want to be right. I ain't trying to impress you. If I did something, forgive me. I'm sorry. And a lot of us, you can't get revived because you still got that unconfessed sin. That you're trying to shout. You can't shout, you can't shout that mess out. You can't see that out. You, some, you, some of that stuff, you got to go tell somebody. But tell the right person now. And you got to talk to Jesus. Tell it to Jesus. Lord, I did it. I said it. I know it's wrong. Lord, help me. Forgive me. The Bible says he's faithful and just to cleanse you from all your sins. Hallelujah. Have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about your trouble. He'll make everything all right. That's number two. Confess. Hallelujah. Confess your sins to the Lord. Hallelujah. If it's something... If you can't eat, you can't see no shape, tell it to your pastor. Call to the pastor. Pastor, I want to tell you something. I, I did something. I said something. I'm talking to you, young people. I did something. I said something. God will bless you. He will help you. Because you know the devil will put that weight on you and that condemnation. The Bible said there's no condemnation. How to those that are in Christ. But if you holding that sin on that unconfessed sin, all you it will weigh you down. I'm trying to help somebody. It'll weigh you down. Then what happens? They open the door for most sins. Yeah, the devil don't stop just a little bit. Talk about it, preacher. He said, "Okay, you did that. I'm gonna try. You, you ain't got rid of that. I'm gonna try a little bit more." Right. Right. And you start to try to shout it out. <laughs> You're going right back doing it again after service. Uh oh. Uh -oh. You got to get rid of that stuff. Come on. Amen. For the young and the old. I don't care how long you've been in church. Sometimes you got to go back and talk about tabletop. Confess it. Because it, why it keep coming up again and again? Because you ain't got rid of that stuff. Some stuff you need to confess and talk about. I don't care if this is with your wife or your husband. That stuff keep coming up again and again. Something is wrong. And you supposed to have a Holy Ghost. You want to be saved? On your way to heaven? Get rid of that heavy load. Oh, God, get rid of it. God come to set you free. And who the Son set free? Confess it. Are y'all with me tonight? I don't want to bore y'all tonight. That's not after you to confess it. First of all, you believe it. You believe the word of God. You believe God is able to, to clean you up. Right. Mm -hmm. Work your situation out. Yes. And 
and you confessed it, yes. got rid of the heavy load. Uh -huh. yes. Now it's time to repent. Yes. I said time to repent. Yes. Uh -huh. I said time to repent. Yes. Repentance is a turn away. Yes. Glory yes. be to God. I was going left, but now I'm going right. Uh -huh. I become godly sorry. I did something. I realized I was wrong. And I don't want to do that thing no more. So Lord, I'm asking you to forgive me. I repent. And a lot of people can't do that. Can't repent. And if they do say, I'm sorry, or I repent, it's not true repentance. True repentance means I'm going to do everything in my power not to do that no more. Oh God, help me. I, I become godly sovereign. Lord, I don't want to do it no more. I don't want to go. Oh, I don't want to sin. Lord, I don't even want to sin no more. Lord, help me. Help me, Jesus. Oh, I'm talking about true repentance. But pride. You're the king. That was that what God said. Do I have a proud? You too proud for the repentance. To go to your husband and say, I messed up, I'm sorry. You too private to go to your wife and say, Why you was right, I was wrong. Will you forgive me, baby? Love you. Talk about it. You too too private to go to Pastor Pastor, you know what? I looked at you wrong, love. You told me something, you was right. And I, I shouldn't have did that. I slammed that door on the way out. When I got in my car, I burnt a little rubber. I did. I burnt a little rubber. Because I was I was mad. Uh, Some people you should mad no sister, you upset. No, I'm not mad. <laughs> you mad. You looking at me like Joy, peace, and right. 
baptism in the Holy Ghost. We're getting ready to receive now. The Bible says, and when he has said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout the Holy Ghost. But ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And this is what we need today. We need power. We need power. The Bible says you're going to receive power after the Holy Ghost come upon you. And ye shall be a witness unto me both in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Hallelujah. You know what Peter said? Peter told him to repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the guilt of the Holy Ghost. Come on, 
Got my soul saved.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're in the last day. We ain't got time for cute praises. We're in the last day. We ain't got time for the cute stuff. But it's time to get praised. Can I get a witness in here? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God. Amen. We thank God. Amen. Come on and give. Amen. Pastor. Maurice Van Pike. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God. We thank God for everything. Amen. Thank God for the spirit. Amen. 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 Tonight. Amen. Thank God for our great apostle. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 